everyone. So today we're going to be talking about a character that is rather unusual. He is a good comparison to Marvel's Deadpool. He doesn't get used very often in DC Comics, but when he is, it's actually pretty funny. And this character's name is Ambush Bug. His first appearance is in DC Comics Presents number 52 in December of 1982. Erwin Schwab was a young man who had the dubious pleasure of having a spaceship crashing into his apartment. The ship was owned by the late hero Brum L of the planet Schwab, who had escaped the destruction of his homeworld but crash landed on Earth after being attacked by a radioactive spider. In the wrecked ship, Erwin found a strange green uniform and some strange electronic bugs. When trying the uniform on, he realized that it was now stuck on him. However, he also realized that he now had the ability to teleport just about anywhere. As Ambush Bug, Irwin started a career as a supervillain and even spent time in Arkham Asylum. After meeting Superman and being inspired by him, the Bug decided to become a hero, something he had pulled off with mixed results, to say the least. On one of his missions, the Bug found a castaway baby doll, whom he adopted as a son, gave a costume, and made them his useful sidekick. Cheeks the toy wonder. These days, the Bug is even less of a hero and basically more of a whining misfit. Ambush Bug is one of the few denizens of the DC Universe who knows that he is a comic book character, which is also why several of his exploits are regarded as non-canon. Madness and oddities are certain to follow in his tracks, and most other heroes avoid him the best that they can. The one exception apparently being Plastic Man, who even invited the Bug to join his short-lived Justice League of Anarchy. Keith Giffen creates this very creative character, and believe it or not, this character has been on many different teams. The Doom Patrol, the Uh-Oh Squad, Justice League, Amber Butane Corpse, and the Suicide Squad. Usually Ambush Bug is dressed in green, a skin-tight suit that covers his whole entire body with two orange antennae. However, inside his hollow antennae, he carries miniature robot bugs that possess the ability to teleport him around wherever he likes. Now, as we have already explained, the costume became permanently affixed to his body, and he originally didn't have the ability to teleport by himself. However, once he was trying to fix one of the miniature bugs, it explodes and causes a chain reaction and the blast destroys all of the bugs. Because of it, it tints Ambush Bug's costume temporarily black. He then becomes capable of teleporting even without the bugs. He even considered changing his name to Black Beetle instead. In 2001, he made his first appearance as part of the superhero group, the Justice League of Anarchy, which also included Plastic Man, The Creeper, Harley Quinn, Amazing Man, and the Trickster. This group of DC Universe troublemakers made a one-panel cameo in a series exploring variations on the JLA acronym, JLA Justice League of Amazons. Ambush Bug is largely considered an absurd character and is rarely used by other writers, although he still exists in the DC Universe and occasionally still appears in some DC comics. His popularity amongst creators has led many cameos, sometimes with as little as his antennae being visible. In 2006, he appeared as part of Firestorm's short-lived Justice League of America. Now, his powers actually appear by proxy in the Countdown to Final Crisis number 32. Jimmy Olsen briefly gains the appearance of Ambush Bug and subconsciously uses his power of, quote, dumb luck to locate Forager. Now, Ambush Bug's powers and abilities are usually just being weird and being kind of Deadpoolish in the DC universe, so to speak. But his primary power is just teleportation. At first, this was a function of his suit, and he was limited to teleporting to where small receiver bugs were located at. But later, after he exploded a bug in his suit, the Ambush Bug internalized his power. It became apparent in DC Comics Presents number 81 that the bug used to have to say, Simon says, to teleport, but this is no longer necessary. Ambush Bug is also aware of his fictionality and aware of events in other publishers' comic books. He once was shown being able to follow the internal dialogue between Firestorm's component personalities. 
Ambush Bug also shows surprising agility and skill in unarmed combat, such as gouging the eyes of enemies, attacking him from behind, or knocking out members of the Legion of Substitute Heroes with a single blow. His unusual way of thinking is also a great advantage and also allows him to guess opponents' tactics and outmaneuver them, humiliating them in the process. Despite all of this, Ambush Bug is simply a skinny man in a costume and can be defeated with surprising ease by even more ridiculous characters. Serious foes like Batman or Superman kind of have great difficulty dealing with him, but other lunatics like him can easily deal with him. Anyway, this is our video on Ambush Bug. If you like anything that you hear here, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, hit the comment box down below and suggest some characters of your own. Tell us what character, weird, wacky, or otherwise, in any fictional universe. Let us know what you'd like us to talk about, and we'll do it here on Review With You. As always, Excelsior, see ya. Oh.